Hello, everybody. Welcome to Criminology. Um, first, let me very much apologize. Um, I don't know what is going on with Zoom and my computer, but as I am trying to record this, um, showing me, um, the screen is just jumping all over the place. So I apologize for giving you a video that is doesn't show me um, and is only showing your syllabus. I'm really, really sorry. It will not always be like this. I do not know what is going on. Um, I've made five other videos in the last 24 hours and had no issues. So I apologize, but I wanted to make sure I got this up for you. So um, anyway, um, you'll see my face again um, as soon as I can figure out whatever the heck is going on here with uh, with Zoom and my computer. So I apologize. Um, welcome to Criminology. Um, my name is Kelly Champion. I'm your instructor for this class. Um, welcome. Um, just a little bit about me. This is my, actually, I started at Kish 20 years ago this month. Um, so I started in the spring semester of 2003. So I am not new to teaching by any means. Um, I have been teaching online before we were forced online with COVID. Um, I taught online for several years before that, so this is nothing new to me. Um, I did just want to quickly go over your syllabus with you, um, talk about a couple of things that you need to do. So again, I apologize that you're not seeing my face and you're not seeing me talking. I know this is super boring, um, but please stick through this uh, um, this video so you get all the information that you need. So on our uh, D2L homepage, you're going to click on your course, which is so so 288 criminology and then you're going to click on this syllabus tab right here at the top that i'm pointing to um and that will bring up your syllabus for the class some of you may have already um looked at it that's fine um now my first thing is i'm pretty sure that i messed up your class also I thought we started on Tuesday. We don't start until Wednesday, the 18th. So if things open up for you on the 17th on Tuesday, that's totally fine. Go ahead and work. No big deal. Um, so anyway, you'll find your syllabus here. Um, you know, you can see everything that you need to see. So you can read your course description. Um, your required reading, I would really encourage you to talk to the um, bookstore at Kishwaukee. It appears to me when I search that... Um, book in our bookstore that you can rent it for a penny. Not sure how that works. Yes, one cent. Um, not sure how that works, but um, I believe I posted an announcement about that. So contact our bookstore and, um, you know, see how they do that. So, all right, your learning outcomes and things, really what you guys want to know is what you have to do. This class is in a 16 week course. So we go all semester. Um, understand that other than today, um, the first day of class, everything from here on out will modules will open on Sunday morning because you have a 16 week class, you get at least two weeks to finish a module full, full of work. Okay. So if you look at your schedule, here's January 18th, which is Wednesday through February 4th. These are the things that you need to do. Um, you need to read chapters one and two. You are going to have to read the book. You have to, um, you just, you're going to have to, I'm not in front of you and there's no way that I can lecture on everything and actually have people watch it. Um, so I'm going to do more of these smaller, uh, videos for you. Um, just kind of giving you a general idea of where you should go with the, with the readings, but, or, or what you're going to get into with that, with that module. But in any event, so these assignments are due Saturday, February 4th at 11.59 p.m., not midnight because that's the Sunday the 5th. Um, understand my class, everything is due on Saturdays at 11.59 p.m., except for the last week where things are due on Friday. Um, all of these assignments will close precisely at 11.59 p.m. Do not wait until the last minute to upload and or complete your assignments. If you try to get on to D2L at 1155, you will never get everything uploaded to D2L by the time things close. And if it closes, you're out of luck. Um, so don't play with that. Um, this class is really set up for you to be successful. Um, you know, I, I, yes, I give you quizzes, but quite honestly, your quizzes are not a huge part of your grade. 
Um, I'm going to scroll down here and show you what I'm talking about. Your quizzes are 100 points total. There are eight quizzes this semester. This semester, they'll be varying points, you know, 12, 13, somewhere in there. Um, you know, it's 100 points total, which when we have 900 points in the class, it, your quizzes are a very small part of your grade. Um, yes, you need to do them. Don't blow them off. Um, because if you don't do any of the quizzes, the highest grade you could earn would be a B. Um, but they're a very small part. Um, we're going to do two one-on-one -on -one Zooms. You will find that link in that first week there. Um, go on, sign up, um, and then show up for your scheduled time. Um, you'll have a final that will be that will be a cumulative final the last week of the semester. You're going to have a project that you guys are going to do on crime or a serial killer or something. We'll talk about that later. You're going to have some discussion board posts as we go, not every week, um, but you know you will have um, some discussion board posts as we go. Um, you know, I realize that they're boring and tedious. I get it, but I do need something that shows me that you actually read the book. Um, so you will do chapter questions slash vocab for each chapter. I will tell you what you need to do. Yes, you need your book for that. And then finally, the heart of this class um, is really the application assignments. You will have various assignments this semester that will be a total of 325 points. Um, so those, and those are going to be various point totals. Again, they might be a 10 point, they might be a 40 point. It just depends. So like this, what is criminology video or the crime video or your criminologist article, or let's talk about your crimes assignment. Those are all different assignments. <clears throat> Excuse me. I revamped this class uh, two, sem two semesters ago, three semesters ago. And I'm still looking for new things to keep you engaged. Um, I don't want you to just read a book and take a quiz. That's not how, that's not an effective use of your time. So yes, you need to read the book. Yes, you need to take a short quiz. But really, those are those are um, the small part of it. Yes, you need to read because I'm going to ask you to apply course information as we go. But really, it's these other assignments like you have a, uh, a TED Talk research and you're going to do something, um, an assignment about dollhouses and dollhouse dioramas and how those help with crime. You're going to do an online crime scene of who killed Barry. You're going to do an online assignment about intimate partner violence. Uh, in module three, you're going to look at the insanity plea, John Hinckley and more. You're going to talk about cheating and techniques of neutralization. Um, you're going to talk about embezzling professors. Um, so there's all kinds of things. I'm looking at um, theories of crime, but then you're going to do a thing with theories and song, or you're going to do a real CSI. Um, so I'm trying to give you lots of other things to do. Um, if you look at your schedule, you pretty much have two weeks to complete, um, oh, I just noticed, you have at least two weeks to complete everything for that module. What I do not suggest, I realized I did not put spring break in there. Um, hmm, sure didn't. So, oh, it's, I believe it's in this week. Um, when is your spring break? Sorry, this is why I, I do videos because I find my errors. Um, and many times there are errors. So any errors that I find while I'm doing this video, I promise I will fix. Um, no. Yeah. Oh, there it is. I'm sorry. Um, thank you. You're probably looking right at it. So I did not count your spring break in here. Spring break is March 20th through 25th. So I did not include those dates in your dates. Um, this is this stuff in module four is due the 18th. Then you have a week off. Then you come back for March 26th um, and do that work. I mean, if there's enough of you that want me to open module five over spring break, I'm happy to do that. You just need to let me know. Um, but I, there is definite value in you also taking a break from school. But in any event, um, you're going to do some things also with racial disparities in the law and how the law is different um, for different people. And I need to edit this. I took out the the BOP article I, or uh, assignment. I changed that because this was boring. So I apologize. I will fix that. Um, but you'll have a couple assignments due here. Um, you'll have a death penalty opinion paper due here. And you can kind of see as we go in the semester, the number of assignments you have in those two weeks slows down. Um, hmm. Your project is due down here, um, not until Saturday, May 13th. 
which is why the, you know, the week before you don't have as much, that'll give you time to work on your project. Um, you'll notice that last week is just chapter 15 and your project, a quick little quiz and a discussion board. Your final will open May 14th. It is due on Friday, May 19th. Um, it is a cumulative final, so it will cover the whole semester. Um, but, um, you know, it's 50 points, things on this syllabus, so I apologize. Um, you will notice that my, my grading scale is a strict 90, 80, 70, 60. Um, if you end up with, you know, 809 points at the end of the semester, good job. You earned a B. No, I'm not rounding that up to an A. If you earned 810 points, I would not round you down to a B. Therefore, 809, I do not round up to an A. Now, I will tell you, people that are successful in this course are people that do the work. People where I enter a CD or even an F for the class are people that just blew off assignments. Um, and, and you just, you can't do that. Um, I have a strict no late work policy because I give you multiple weeks to do things. Um, now I get it that life gets in the way. So if there's something that comes up in your life, um, that's affecting your ability to be successful, shoot me an email before stuff is due, not at 11 55 PM. Um, let me know what's going on and we can certainly work stuff out. Um, I didn't have internet at home is not a good, um, excuse. I couldn't get to a computer, that kind of stuff. You know, day one that you're in an online class that requires you to have access to internet that is working and a working computer. How you do that is up to you. You can go to campus and use the computer labs, got to work within the school hours, but you can do that. You can take your laptop and sit at Starbucks. I don't care. You can sit at home with a hotspot. I don't care. But you are in an online course, which means you have to have a working computer and, and your access to internet. <clears throat> the only thing that would, the only internet issue that would be a legit issue would be if we have a documented problem on campus where people could not get to um, D2L. But that's happened once in the last six years. So I don't anticipate that happening. Okay. Just do the work. Turn it in on time, and I promise you will be just fine. Um, just a couple other things. Those of you that are involved with disability services, you know who you are. Get me your information. But remember, those of you that have extended time, that doesn't mean I extend time on something that's due in two weeks. Those are usually extended time on quizzes and tests, things that are on a time constriction, things that have a time limit, not the two weeks to turn something in. Um, okay, so I know this is boring because you're not seeing me and I'm not talking to you. I'm just going over the syllabus. Um, suggestion, um, I don't think I made this stuff visible yet for you. So this is uh, one suggestion. When you go into your content browser here, let me see if I can do this real quick. I don't think it's visible for you. Um, when you're going into your weeks, you're going to open a week. Yeah, no, it's not. Sorry. Um, Sorry. So when you get into here and you're looking at what is due, there's two ways that you can pay attention. Well, three ways. Look at your syllabus. Um, you can look at what's coming up. However, I will be honest. Sometimes there, I forget to mark the put it in the calendar thing. So it may not show up on here. When you open up a module, you're going to click on the little arrow and it's going to show you everything. Make sure that you scroll down. It does not show you everything at once. So make sure that you scroll down and you're getting everything that you need to do. Um, you will see module one. I give you a start here. Welcome. That's what you're watching. But then it says, do this next. You're going to click on this link. It's going to take you to a sign up genius where you are going to sign up for a 10 minute online zoom. Hopefully zoom isn't being flaky by then. Um, and online zoom with me. Um, it is graded. It is required. I want to see every student. Um, so you need to sign up for a time. If you need to cancel your time, I really discourage that because I have an insane amount of students that I need to get in. Um, and I am not all about adding more time for because students took time and then didn't show up. If you need to cancel your appointment, please do it 24 hours, at least 12 hours ahead of time. Cancel it on the sign up genius so someone else can slide into that spot. Um, if you don't show up, uh, I may not allow you to make another time depending on how things are going. I am on a time constraint. Also, I need to meet with everybody um, within the first two weeks. And I, I don't, I mean, I work full time as well outside of teaching here. So make a time, but show up for your time. Okay. And then get going on what you need to do. And uh, yeah, that should get you going. Um, 
like I said, I, I do work full time. I have a full time teaching job. I do not live in DeKalb. I live in Rockford. Um, so I am never physically on campus ever. Um, I honestly haven't been physically on campus since, oh man, pre COVID, um, 2018. Um, I've taught online for that long. So, but if you need something, shoot me an email. I will get back to you usually within 12 hours. Even though I work a full-time job during the day, I do check my email at least once a day at school if I can. Um, but then I, I do try to check it at night. If you need to meet with me one-on-one, -on -one, send me a few times that you can meet um, after four o'clock or on the weekends and we'll figure it out, okay? So you're not out there by yourself, um, but you have to let me know what you need. Also, you're watching this, but uh, or listening to this, but um, I lost my train of thought. I'm sorry. Um, oh, I lost where I was going with it. Oh, you're listening to this, but you need to be um, active in the course. We have a date that comes up that um, uh, that is a date where we have to mark if students are not participating. Ten days from now, I'm probably going to drop you. So you need to be active. You need to be in your class. You need to be in there looking at what you need to look at, do what you need to do, get stuff turned in, that kind of stuff. Okay. Um, okay. So if you actually listened um, to all of this, that's great. Thank you very much. Again, let me know what you need and uh, we'll hopefully make it a good semester. Okay. All right. Now, if you actually let it go till the end, um, here's what you can do um, for uh, some extra credit. You may email me, um, my email you can do inside of our uh, D2L class. Just hit email, find the class, find my name and email me. Um, you must email me from your KISH email. Email me and say criminology in your subject. And in the body of your paper or in the body of your email, tell me that you watch the introduction video all the way to the end and you want some extra credit. Um, that extra credit, is going to be due, um, let's make it due February 4th. So it's due at the end of that first module. Um, so make sure that you do that. Um, but so send me an email, use the email link in D2L, tell me in the subject criminology extra credit, and then in the body, tell me that you watched my intro video through to the end and um, you want some extra credit. All right, that's all I have guys. So you have a good day and let's make it a great semester.